Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Captain Marvel six scale figure from Avengers Endgame by Hot Toys. Let's take a look. On the front of the box we have a beautiful portrait of Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. This is done in a painted style to it and it does wrap around. On the two sides you're going to have the gold foil Captain Marvel logo as well as the Avengers logo. All of your information on the back. This is a traditional sleeve. Slide up and off to reveal the window box in the front that's showing the entire figure as well as the Captain Marvel logo down in the corner. Let's take this out of the box so you can see how the tray is laid out. Now with that cover removed, we're gonna see the Captain Marvel figure. We're gonna have the large gauntlet, blast effects, translucent wrist gauntlets, swap out hands, batteries, and underneath the dynamic stand. Let's take everything out of the tray and look at it all laid out. Captain Marvel in her new end game suit, battle damage nano gauntlet, four swap out hands, multiple energy blasting effects, and the dynamic figure stand. I want to take a moment right now to show you each piece up close. First up, the largest accessory, the battle damage nano gauntlet. Huge amount of weathering as far as all over the glove. Here we see the infinity stones. Now this is an articulated glove, so you have a swivel position here. Also as a light up feature, you're going to remove the hand and this panel here to access the battery compartment. The battery compartment is underneath the panel. You're going to have three batteries that you install there for the light up feature here. This will allow you to illuminate the stones. Captain Marvel has her own gauntlets, and these are done in a translucent to allow you to see through them and work with the light up feature that is going to be on the forearms of the figure itself. You also have the translucent energy effects. These are done in a soft, pliable rubber as not to damage the figure and slide right over the wrist peg. The translucent energy punches, you're going to have two of these. These are done in that blue gradiating down into a clear, given lots of texture. They attach onto the wrist peg there and will be illuminated. Translucent fists that will also light up with that light up feature and can be used with the gauntlet as well as the energy effects that go around the wrists. Here we have the gloved relaxed hands, the fingerless glove on each. Her uniformed fingerless gloves in a gesturing pose, both a right and left. Our hexagonal display base that is a dynamic stand, Marvel's Endgame on the top, and then the front featuring the Captain Marvel name. And our head sculpt. This is from Endgame with that shorter haircut. And as you can see, they've even done it where you can peer through, the light will cut through. She has those piercing, intense eyes with a confident turn of the lip. Now this head sculpt is going to be done all the way down in your connection point below, so it has that clean line all the way across. Now speaking of clean lines, you get that nice tight texture all the way through the outfit onto the front with the Captain Marvel emblem. Now this is of course where we get a color change in this film here. Now the costume here is going to be an, a non-removable suit. It is a snug suit here, but it does have elements that are attached onto it, such as the shoulder pads here, the front emblem as well here on the side, and then the wraparound belt feature. Also removable is going to be the gauntlet right here. Now you'll remove the hand and the gauntlet to access the battery compartment and light up feature. And I'm gonna do that right now to show it to you. Now, this is with the gauntlet removed. You're going to have your battery compartment here. This is going to be the clear translucent. Light up feature right there. Swap out hands will attach right there. This is repeated on both the right and left side underneath that gauntlet. Now the belt is raised and the fabric underneath, as you can see here, is kind of a softer 
rubberized material that they have put those folds in it. The sash on the side is a soft material and is pre-folded in there right out of the box is going to look like that. Wraps all the way around, soft, pliable right there as well. Work our way down onto the suit, get that great break of color between the red and the blue, down onto the knee and then into the boot. The boot, as you can see, comes over the cuff. Little hint of color as you move it. It does have a tilt forward and back. The boot going all the way around. And then we see down on the bottom, a little great tread going on right there. Now let's go over all the articulation points from top to bottom. Here we have our articulation. All right, this is going to be a ball joint on the head. Now the sculpt that we talked about here on that, the hair is a softer material, so don't be worried about damaging that. The point of connection is gonna be down inside the costume, but that allows us to have that forward and backward motion. Shoulder and arm articulation. Now this is a suit that is a not removable and it is a snug suit. You do have that shoulder cap, which is attached onto the suit. You will see that there's the soft and hard next to one another lifting straight up we go to about 90. you have the bicep which you can twist double joint on the elbow as far as forward we can go further than straight out and back as well we are able to give it twists to the side and then we hold here to give it a bit of bend if we need, side to side. And then front to back, you are also going to have a little more range in the back arch. Now down into hip articulation. Now she does have that tight suit, so you're gonna be cautious when doing to not to overextend, but you are able to push the leg out quite a bit. You do have the ability to turn there on the thigh. Now the forward range of motion is just about to there. That knee joint is a double joint here. Now our ankle articulation, this is a sculpted boot I told you about. It does go a little further down on the sides, but you will get pivot side to side on there, ball joint does move forward as well, giving a little hint of the gold, and then upward as well. Time for some marvelous poses. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Captain Marvel six scale figure from Avengers Endgame by Hot Toys. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. Make sure to watch Unsealed and Revealed for more fun with this figure. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.